Many Americans who wind up living on the streets never thought their economic prosperity would eventually become economic ruin. Before I moved here, I had a three-bedroom, two-bath. I had two cars and a truck, a big backyard, big front yard, a dog in the front, a dog in the back. Kevin Payton describes his financial stability when he was working as an electrician in Louisiana. After being laid off, he headed west to San Diego in search for work. But Peyton has been unable to land a job in this expensive city and within months ended up on the street begging for change. If they're saying I'm overqualified, what they mean, I do have no personal idea. But they're saying I'm overqualified, and I don't understand that. Job is a job. Peyton is not alone when it comes to formerly middle class Americans unable to find work and ending up on the street. I used to be a nurse assistant for Kamalitsa Hospital. For the elderly. Out of shame, Nina doesn't want to show her face on camera. She's so embarrassed about her financial situation, she hasn't come clean to her relatives about how bad things have gotten. She now sleeps on a mattress on the street corner. It's a rough life, made even tougher as police enforce measures to push homeless people out of certain neighborhoods. While there are signs for vacant luxury condos right next door, you can see the belongings of hundreds and thousands of homeless people who will not have a bed to sleep in tonight. There are people all over the city in cars. With more people finding high rents or mortgage payments impossible to pay, sleeping in a car or motorhome has become a widespread last resort. They told me not to sleep in, um, inside my car or my motorhome. It would, I will go to jail for that. Angel, who is also ashamed to show his face, has been threatened by police for living in his pickup truck. In Venice, California, others have been arrested or ticketed for doing just that. And we live in a city where people are one paycheck away from being homeless. And if you go down on Skid Row, that's what you see. People lost an apartment, they wound up there, and it, it becomes a cycle you can't get out of. Those trying to help the homeless sometimes are targeted by police as well. This video shows activists being arrested for handing out food to transients in Orlando, Florida, one of several American cities where feeding the homeless is outlawed. Could be you. Most people are one or two paychecks away from losing their housing, and that's just the truth. Nationwide, the official unemployment rate is doggedly stuck at over 9 percent. Many economists, however, claim the real figure is twice that with many no longer bothering to look for jobs. A record 45 million people are now on food stamps, while food pantries struggle to keep up with demand. And if it weren't for these services, who knows how many people might be on the streets. The government don't care about nothing. You know, we'll make them richer and richer, make us poor and poor. As the government struggles to get its own financial house in order, Little thought seems to be given to the housing of Americans across the country, leading many to wonder if scenes like these might be the new normal for America. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.